Hey guys, Josh here with Working Man's Reads, and I am here today with a book review and my thoughts on Bearskin by James A. McLaughlin. Oh, my computer finally decided to turn on. Sorry about that. I'm probably going to get a million notifications, but um, yeah, I come down here to edit and it, uh, it had to do like an update and a restart on like a brand new computer, but whatever. So today we were talking about Bearskin. Like I said, sick cover. And even that spine is sweet. You got the dude on the back. Kind of looks like my landlord slightly. Nice guy, I'm sure. So, God, I wish that would stop doing that. But, all right. So, Bearskin. Level of uh, manliness, pretty high on this one. You follow a gentleman named Rice. And he is trying to escape something from his past that occurred in Arizona. Uh, he has a dark history there, and I loved the descriptions of Arizona and the scenery out there and what it is like, and that was probably my favorite part of the flashbacks. Other than that, it did slightly pull me out of the story. That is my one big gripe with this one. You do follow Rice in the present day where he is a caretaker of a wildlife preserve and some dead bears start popping up around the the reserve and a preserve I should say and he tries to determine who is killing these bears out of season without the proper hunting license basically they are being poached so he starts digging into that and trying to locate the people that did that that perpetrated it um, you do also, there are some supporting characters along the way. I did love, um, there's this beekeeper guy, his name's leaving me right now, but he, he basically is the local, uh, bee specialist and, uh, you kind of, he, and Rice and him become buddies almost, but in a, a manly way where, you know, you can't be cool and you can't, you know, and, and you got to be cool about it, but, you know, deep down inside you care about the guy. So that's kind of a cool story. There's also this uh, trippy character who is living in the woods, and he's almost like a hermit, and he does a lot of uh, mushrooms. And by mushrooms, I mean, like, the mushrooms. He's out there tripping in the woods, which sounds terrifying. So, overall thoughts, it's a it's a three to four. I, I changed my review, uh, my rating on... Goodreads to a four because I, I reflected on the quality of writing after I finished this story. This plot and the story is like a three, but the writing is actually really good for a thriller. Um, no offense to thrillers. I'm just um, I'm just saying sometimes you run into certain tropes and people are afraid of using uh, flower, more flowery writing or better descriptive writing during thrillers, and you find yourself just kind of watching. Um, a simplistic plot play out with the same type of writing in every in every thriller, and you don't have that with Bearskin. He is a great he is a good writer. I guess he's uh, he's got a doctorate from the University of Virginia, so he's he's uh, obviously a well trained smart man. So here is the synopsis on the back. Rice Moore is just beginning to think his troubles are behind him. He's taken a job as a caretaker for a remote forest preserve in Virginia. Hoping the solitude is a perfect highway from the drug, Mexican drug cartels he betrayed back in Arizona. But when Rice finds the car carcass of a killed bear on the grounds, he becomes obsessed with catching the poachers before more bears are harmed. Descending deep into the Appalachian wilderness, he finds the undertaking far more dangerous than he anticipated. He has hostile altercations with the locals, his employers, and even the law. His part... His past is catching up to him in terrifying ways, and he's running out of ideas for to on how to escape it. So, very true. My computer's going to have a, a freak out right now because it just restarted. But, yes, Bearskin, great book. The descriptive uh, narrative of the Appalachian wilderness is, is actually amazing, and it makes me want to go camping. Which brings me to a little life update. We were supposed to go to Myrtle Beach. And now we're going to just go camping in New York. So I'm going to have a bunch of sick pictures of books on a water and in the trees. I'm going to look like well-read beard out here. So bearskin, 
nice quick review. Um, I will probably film a couple more videos. I do leave the 4th of July, so I'm probably going to upload one, like a reading vlog and maybe a writing vlog out in, um, on my trip. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys are still watching, if you haven't, um, watched my giveaway video for Rob Shefford's books, please go check that out and tell me what you love about horror. 